welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my fall haul. And the first thing I want to share with you guys, I think, is the one that I'm most excited about. My birthday was on September 30th, and my younger brother actually surprised me with a gift. And I want to share it with you guys because I'm very, very excited about it. He bought me the new edition of the Harry Potter books. I freaking love it. They are so beautiful. I actually recently finished the third book. Um, I already read the first two, so I didn't start out with those two. But for my Harry Potter reread, I'm gonna go reread these copies. It's just, they're so beautiful, guys. They're so beautiful. But I really, really like it, so yeah. That was my first thing that I wanted to share with you guys. And it's just, it's so nice. I just want every Harry Potter edition ever. And now I'm going to move on my pre-orders. The first pre-order that I want to mention, of course, is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I pre-ordered this months ago and I actually got it in September, obviously, but I still haven't read it. This is the fourth or fifth book, I guess, depending on how you see it, in the Throne of Glass series. You guys know this is one of my favorite series, however, I still have not read either Air Fire or the Assassin's Blade because I have heard some things and I'm a little scared to continue on with the series right now. I'm definitely going to continue on with the series, but I have heard some things and I've kind of put it on hold a little bit because of that. The second book that I had a pre-order for was Leigh Bardugo's Six of Crows. This is the start of a new... I think it's gonna be a duology, correct me if I'm wrong. This is set in the same world as the Grisha trilogy, but I think this might be, I don't know if it's months or years after Ruin and Rising. So from what I've heard, and this is kind of the main reason why I haven't read this yet, you don't necessarily need to read the trilogy before jumping into this, but there are some spoilers or some kind of Easter hunts. What are they called? Egg hunts? Egg? Easter eggs, Easter eggs, there you go. There are some Easter eggs in this book regarding the trilogy, so I'd rather just read the trilogy first and then jump into this, even though I have to admit, guys, this book has been getting so much hype. I really, really want to read it soon. And I've heard also that a lot of people actually enjoy Six of Crows a lot more than the Grisha trilogy, which to me, like, the Grisha trilogy is already a really great series, at least from what I've gotten of it. I've, I'm like a half, book and a half into the trilogy. A lot of people are kind of liking this a lot more, which kind of makes me more excited. A little bit scared because you know when there are books that are really, really hyped up, sometimes you do get a little bit scared to jump into it because you're afraid that you might not love it as much, but I'm still, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for this one. Honestly, I've heard amazing things and I know that Lee Bardugo has a style of writing that I really really enjoy so I'm pretty sure I am going to like this when I do get to it but I am trying to finish the other trilogy first. Also let me just say this book guys is freaking beautiful. It has black stained pages. It has a crow. The spine is beautiful. The designs of these books not just this one but the Grisha trilogy they have amazing like what are they? This has a name. I'm blanking out on what it is right now, but it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful book. I can't wait to read it. Last but not least, with my pre-orders, the book that I am most excited about right now, Eyes Like Fire by Sarah Rosh. This is the second book in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy. You guys know how much I adored Snow Like Ashes. Snow Like Ashes was one of my favorite books of last year, and I am dying to read this. I haven't read it yet because I want to try and read Snow Like Ashes beforehand, just because I love that book so much, and I want to try to reread it and kind of refresh my memory and jump into this fresh. I've heard some really, really good things about it. This is one of those books or book series that I feel like a lot of people know, but not enough people have read. Like, you know about it, but I don't know a lot of people who have read this. I do know a few, but not as much as I want. So if you haven't read this trilogy, please, please do, because I need more people to freak out about this with. The next book is not necessarily a pre-order, but it is a book that I got with a pre-order because I needed to get free shipping. The third and final book in the Darkest Minds trilogy, another one of my favorites. You guys know I adore that trilogy. I, have, I haven't read this yet, but it's on my TBR for next month. I did a book review slash discussion type video for the Darkest Minds. If any of you guys are interested, I will link that up there for you guys to go and check out. But otherwise, I think I have talked 
a lot about this series already, but I do really, really want to finish it. So the next books are books that I picked up at a used bookstore, and I actually wanted to do a kind of separate video talking about that, but I already did one uh, months ago, I think. I went to the same bookstore and I kind of did a follow me around slash haul at the end of it. But basically I went back to that same bookstore and it's one of my all-time favorite used bookstores. I try to go to it whenever I am like in the city. It's so big, like so big. They have so many things and I wanted to buy everything but I kind of had to calm myself and only get five books. So that's pretty good I think. The first thing that I bought, some of you guys might think this is very out of character for me, but this is actually something that I really really enjoy. It is The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. I actually do really like Shakespeare, which is something I never thought I would say because I hated Shakespeare. Actually at university for my degree you had to take a Shakespeare class and I put that class off for as long as I could and then it turns out it was one of my favorite classes that I've ever had. The professor that I had was, she was not only like super knowledgeable about Shakespeare, but she made it interesting. She made it fun and she made it contemporary. It was just so much fun. And actually my favorite play that we read was The Taming of the Shrew. I wanted to have a separate copy of it for a while now. I do have like my huge Norton anthology. It has all of Shakespeare's work. I could probably murder someone with that thing. I'm not even kidding. It's this thick. I wanted something a little bit, you know, more portable. And this is basically, if any of you guys have watched um, 10 Things I Hate About You, that's basically a modern reinterpretation slash adaptation of Taming of the Shrew. The next book that I got is Magic Study by Maria V. Snyder. This is the second book in the Poison Study trilogy. The reason why I got this copy was because this cover is not easy to find online. I don't know when I'm gonna get to this, but I did really enjoy Poison Study, so I'm hoping that it'll be at least within this year. Another book that I was very, very happy to find there, Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This is the first book in the Covenant series. I really, really like Jennifer L. Armitrout's writing style. I think that she has really addictive books that you can just kind of like get sucked into and they're so much fun to read. So this is one that I've been keeping my eye on and I was very very happy that I was able to find this. This series surrounds gods and particularly the children of gods and in this world children of the gods or basically half-bloods are either warriors who fight these evil beings or they become servants of the godlike people, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's kind of the main premise of this. So the main character in this series is kind of forced to choose between becoming a warrior or becoming a servant, and then things happen. There's romance, of course, or at least I think there is. I mean, this is Jennifer L. Armitra we're talking about, so there probably is. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to read it, and it's a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be, so this would have been perfect for the Dewey's 24-hour readathon. I should have done that. Oh, cool. There's a card in here. It says seven of swords. So I'm guessing it's like a deck of cards. I'm gonna start using this as, an, as a bookmark. These are the type of surprises you get when you buy used bookstores or used books. At that bookstore, the last book that I found was the one that I'm most excited about. This book is a little bit more expensive than the YA books I tend to buy. So when I saw this, I kind of freaked out. The book is A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. And this is actually the UK edition. I don't know what it was doing at that used bookstore, but I'm completely okay with it. A few months ago, I read Vicious by B.E. Schwab. Absolutely adored it. That book is getting a sequel. More than happy about it because I wanted at least an epilogue for that book because it was really, really good. This book is kind of an adult fantasy, sci-fi, what, how do you, I think it's sci-fi technically is like kind of an interdimensional story. So the main character in this world is able to travel back and forth between two dimensions, I believe. This is in my TBR for next month. This book I actually didn't buy in that particular bookstore. I went to a different one and I was only able to find this book that I wanted, but I got it for 50 cents, so it was great. Agatha Christie's and then there were none. This is the first Agatha Christie novel that I ever read absolutely adored it. It's about 10 strangers who were gathered in this island and they don't really know who gathered them. They realize that it's kind of a trap. At the end you find out who the killer is and 
Oh my gosh, it's such a good mystery novel. Even though I know already who the culprit is, I still really want to reread it to kind of catch little hints of it throughout the story. Very happy that I found this and it was only 50 cents, which was the best deal. Last but not least, these two books are books that I got from Barnes & Noble. I don't shop at Barnes & Noble that often because like I said, I'm a cheap person and Barnes & Noble are just, ugh, they're, they're expensive. However, they recently had a friend's and family sale I think it was and you got an extra 20% off and if you buy their stuff online you only need $25 for free shipping so I got these two books because of that and the first one that I got is Rebel Spring by Morgan Rose this is the second book in the Fallen Kingdoms trilogy I added it to my TBR for the month I don't know if I'm gonna get to it because it's almost November already and then next month I'm doing NaNoWriMo so I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to it but I want to get to it. I think I'm probably gonna read this after Ice Like Fire because I want to know what happens especially with Magnus and Cleo. The other two? Yeah them too but mostly Magnus and Cleo let's let's be honest. I wasn't sure if I should show this but it's a book so I might as well just share it with you guys. I finally got my hands on Secret Garden by Joanna Basford. This I don't think it needs introduction. It's been everywhere. I even saw it on a, a Korean variety show. My mom even knew about it when I showed it to her. She was like, oh, I saw that on TV. I haven't gotten much coloring done, but from what little I have done, I just did like little things like this. I'm not a fancy colorer. I just got it because it helps with stress. I can see why people say that these type of coloring books are good for stress because it's helped me so far and I haven't really used it even that much. So those were all the books that I bought this fall. That is it for this video. I really hope that you guys liked it and I will see you next time. Bye guys. This vlog is going to surround NaNoWriMo.